back in February at uh, the national committee meetings in Dallas, uh, I was ready to get to bed and probably around 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the evening. And I was really actually lying in bed. And I got a phone call from Lyle Knight, uh, one of the committee members of the selection committee, asking me if I had a few minutes to come downstairs and, and, and chat with him in the, actually in the lobby of the, the floor that I was staying on. And, uh, and that's when he gave me the, broke me the news. And uh, I mean, obviously, obviously I was very, very pleased and, and flattered. I think looking back over my, my, my career in scouting, uh, it's the satisfaction that you get uh, years later, looking at perhaps at the youngsters that you were involved in uh, as an adult uh, and, and seeing how far you know, these youngsters have come to become leaders in the community. I think that's the greatest satisfaction I have as a volunteer in the scouting movement. We don't do this for the money. We're involved as volunteers, and the satisfaction that you get uh, in scouting uh, goes beyond any measurement that, that you can think of. Uh, it, it's sort of second nature to me. I, I don't even have to think about my involvement in scouting. You know, scouting has faced its challenges over the last few years because it's competing with many other uh, programs that involves youngsters. But uh, scouting's values uh, has, have lived on for the past 99 years, and I look forward to the next 100 years, obviously. And I think we still have the opportunity of reaching out to many, many more youngsters in the United States.